making this smoothie every day for the past four or five days and this one <laughs> looks the worst i mean that color is rank it hasn't even got chocolate in it it also tastes not the best i don't know what oh god <laughs> i think it's got whole cherries in it yeah mixing like blueberries and spinach and cherries does not work well but full of goodness i hope i don't know what i've done wrong with that <laughs> it is tuesday i have an event today a lunch event for a fragrance um i think it's the founder of the fragrance is in london and really excited to meet her hear more about the brand it's called atelier materi i've had one of their sample sets before and they do a really nice like chocolate smelling perfume so i'm excited to hear more about the brand and eat some nice food i've also got circus class later my second one of the term until then i am posting my weekend roundup and doing some video editing Husband and wife. Yeah. Our kiss wasn't very long, was it? Ah! Look at I wonder if they got the surname revealed. Oh, I hope so. They must have. Mm. Oh! <laughs> Oh. Slow my well. I think that's me telling Lucy that was shit in all water. <laughs> Absolute squad though. Absolute squad. Squad goals. Squad goals. Look at your bear outside in the corner. <laughs> Whoa. That looks so epic. Oh yeah, the oh call is God, <laughs> The flowers were epic. Today is... Thursday. I have a really fun day of events today that I've especially straightened my hair for. I've been thinking whilst doing my makeup today that I want to go blonder. I used to love my white blonde hair, blonde hair. Yeah, it's so dark now. Like, especially when I wear my hair up, I just look brunette. So I'd love to go a little bit blonder. So I've got two events this afternoon and I'm really excited about them because they're both kind of adult brands so I've got an event with Hanks the condom brand their condoms are fantastic so I'm excited to pop down and see what they've got in store what their new product launch is and then also an autumn winter event with Love Honey which again I'm really excited for because Love Honey do the nicest like gift sets around Christmas. They also do the best sex toy advent calendar, which I'm really hoping I can get my hands on this year to review and unbox for you guys again. I think I've unboxed the Love Honey advent calendar on my YouTube channel every year for the past four years. So I'd be really excited to see how this year's compares. Also just meet, meet the Love Honey team because I haven't met them in person since 2019 like way before the pandemic so yeah it'll be really nice to get out of the house and um hear about some sexy brand launches i then am meeting up with g and we're going out for dinner this evening to a pub in wandsworth 
um, called the Spread Eagle. They do this supper club once a month and each supper club will have a theme. So tonight's theme is sustainability. They invited me down to try it and I'm really excited because I love pubs, I love pub food, I love a supper club, like the idea of a supper club that anyone can kind of buy a ticket and go to and get all your food and drink included. It's just, yeah, it's just like a really nice community kind of vibe and I've only ever been to Wandsworth once. G actually used to live there when he first moved to London. I'm just looking forward to it. Looking forward to today. I feel like I'm definitely more myself. Like, yeah, today's the first day in about two weeks that I felt myself. So I'm just trying to embrace it. I was kind of gifted this fragrance at the Atelier Materi event. Really excited to get the Cacao Porcelana one because that is my favorite fragrance all is oh my god that's so embarrassing <laughs> i've got my butt i've got my buttons undone yeah the bottle is gorgeous and the like cap is made from concrete with like gold leaf it's a really gorgeous fragrance very sweet like it literally smells like chocolate and then it dries down to just a very nice kind of like sandalwoody amber tobacco kind of just sexy fragrance but it's super chocolatey as well and my outfit today is like it's not even worth showing you just a little black crop top and black jeans I'm trying to like break my doc martins in at the moment i'm just finding jeans are the easiest way to do that i'm gonna go down and make some lunch I'm also trying some heavier eye makeup today put some black eyeliner on which I haven't done in a while autumn vibes <laughs> also going to apply this hair oil that I got at the L'Oreal event a couple of weeks ago the metal detox it's a leave-in oil but you apply it on dry hair rather than wet um and yeah I've straightened my hair for the first time in ages so this will give it hopefully a nice bit of shine Cool. We've just heated up some soup, spicy chicken soup with some toast for lunch whilst I sit here and plan some videos. If there's any content guys that you'd like to see from me, do let me know. It's like a military operation to try and break these docks in. <laughs> so what I've got, what I've come up with is a pair of tights that look like a fleece. This is not my crotch. This is like the thickest material and it looks like wearing opaque tights but they're not it's it's great because they're like fleecy and warm and then a pair of these like silicone heel grips right up there and then a pair of dock socks <laughs> which are supposed to be like good for not having them rub but to me like there's nothing special about these they don't feel any different to a normal pair of socks that i own but three of those like thick things layered up and I should be fine for the day so I've got quite a bit of walking to do and I am praying it works because there is nothing worse than walking around with a blister is there right okay so I've like folded the socks over and then I've got the heel grip which I'm just going to pull up to make sure it's definitely over where it rubs on me and then the trickiest bit is getting the, the shoes in the actual docks without pulling <laughs> or moving the heel grips hey hey oh it is literally a military operation and just check everything's in place there we go cool and then I've changed my outfit so I'm just wearing this dress now that I wore when I was in Scotland a couple of weeks ago it's backless nice little LBD and then these tights so yeah they kind of give the illusion of being quite thin translucent but I don't know if you can see they're like super nice and fleecy and thick inside so I'm probably actually going to be too hot in these <laughs> but um yeah, that'll do. Final touches, I've just chucked on a blazer. We just 
um, popped to see the team at Hanks. Yeah, they've been there all day handing out free condoms to the public and they've done so well. Like, yeah, like almost all of them are gone now, which is so good. Hanks, they're like sustainable. They're like biodegradable, which is better for the environment because obviously you don't want loads of condoms, like, yeah, not being able to disappear. <laughs> but I've got about half an hour before the Love Honey event and I thought I'd come and perch myself down outside a coffee shop. The last time I went to a coffee shop in this area was on a day date, my first and last ever day date and the date lasted half an hour. <laughs> It was so bad, I didn't even get to finish my coffee before he was like, right, I've got to go. And I was like, what is this fucking business meeting? Bus it was the weirdest date I've ever had. Um, so yeah, this is bringing back all kinds of memories. He actually wanted to see me again. And I was like, why? You only saw me for half an hour. Like, yeah, I don't know, it was very weird. This was the coffee shop that date happened in. It's shut at the moment, but it's a charity coffee shop. It wasn't back when I went to it. If you wanted an affordable date, idea around East London and Shoreditch I'd recommend coming to this churchyard I think it's called St Leonard's Church and they've basically like repurposed old materials to make loads of cool like little seating areas and people are just chilling here reading books drinking coffee talking it's a nice little community feel so you could like grab a coffee or make a flask at home and bring it here and have a little walk through Shoreditch and a talk this is what I mean by repurposing kind of old materials. It's so cute and there's loads of them around, like made out of um, old pallets. Look at this one. <laughs> Looks like some ancient torture device, but I love that, it's so cute.
No, this can't be real. Mm. <laughs> G's, G's been asked to sell some of his AI, AI art as NFTs, and a guy has offered him a thousand pounds for four pictures each. <laughs> You're winding him up. No, I'm, I'm playing him his own game. <laughs> So, restaurant review, the Spread Eagle in Wandsworth, which is part of the Young's Pub, and this Young's Pub, I think is like the head, like the, the main one. They've been doing a supper club every month, each with a theme, so this month's theme was sustainability, next month's theme is game, and the month after that is steak. The food for a pub was so good. Five delicious courses with wine pairings i'll leave a link down below so you can see next month's menu and how much it is i actually don't think it was even that expensive let me just double check so the one we had was 85 pound per person which for five courses and with wine pairings i think how much 85 pounds what do you think about that per person yeah pretty good mm. yeah there's a lot of booze a lot and a lot great of food. food. Food was amazing. The food was really great. We had breaded oysters. We had smoked eel with celeriac, um, kind of like coleslaw. Just celeriac coleslaw. It was. <laughs> must have had like a better name, like remoulade. I want to say spider crab ravioli with a uh, spider crab bisque. Um, with samphire and spider crab apparently is really sustainable it, like it's like l there's loads of it around the British Isles shit um, ton of spider crab just hanging about the shit, place shit ton we had mutton for, from, for like the final dish I don't think I've ever probably had mutton before but it was really delicious and then the most delicious dessert which was like a bread and butter and banana pudding which I loved so yeah i highly highly recommend i'll leave a link down below we're just waiting for a train now to go back home east other side of london but yeah i'm really excited to read my book on the train i've started this the other day and yeah i am just obsessed it's a book of short stories all about women and their bodies it's got lots of sex in it um but i, th I just think it's brilliant I really recommend it's called her body and other parties by carmen maria machado why am i not focusing I look a little more reese in the background <laughs> Why is he so cute? Why are you so cute? I'm just about to head out for lunch. I'm eating G for lunch today on a Friday. We're going to be trying a new, new-ish restaurant in uh, Good Street for lunch, which is like Japanese. They do sushi bowls and katsu. I'm really looking forward to it. I feel like I haven't had press parcels in a really long time, and it just so happens that quite a few arrived yesterday, quite a few packages, so I thought I'd open them with you now. First up, my Skin and Me, which I pay for myself. They haven't put my dosage up in a while, so I'm still on the same kind of formula, but I do have a discount code if you did want to get your first Skin and Me for £3.50 instead of £24.99. Use my code KT9Y. And then I, I do feel like all this is skincare, you know. Oh, we've got something from Aborian, which I'm actually wearing their foundation today. I'm wearing their Super BB cream. And I haven't tried much from this brand. Their Skin Hero White O Jingxing. Silicone free, non tinted skin perfector. Enhances your bare skin upon application. Oh, that sounds interesting. It's like a mix between makeup and skincare so i'll definitely try that at some point ah oh, this is exciting period pants i'm literally just finishing my period now i'm working with wicker again which is really exciting and then we also have some bits from la roche posay which is so exciting la roche posay is honestly one of my favorite skincare brands their products when i was on raccutane helped me so much in terms of my skin was so dry and they were kind of the only products that didn't irritate my skin and that kept my skin as moisturised as it could be on Miraculine. And I still purchase their products now, like I still use their moisturiser sometimes and their um, face mist like to hydrate. They've sent me a couple of items for 
what's it called dry skin which is very needed at the moment actually because my skin in me dosa does dry my skin out still sometimes little la rose posay part plasters why are they so cute oh my god anything miniature oh god Okay, so they've sent a Cicaplast balm, balm, which is an ultra repairing smoothing balm. I've used this before on my eczema, but I'm excited to use this on my face. And apparently you can use it on your lips as well to just help moisturise it looks like this. This is like one of their best selling products, like a cult, cult product. And then also the Cicaplast spray, which I haven't seen before. I'm not sure whether this is new or not, but it's for irritated or damaged skin. He spritz it on your face and it will help repair your skin barrier, I guess. It's got panthenol, B5. Leave your skin feeling soothed and hydrated. Really excited to try both of those. It's been it's been a very long time since I've used the Cicaplast balm, so yeah, I'm gonna pop that on my bedside table and give it a spin. I've got something in my eye and I can't get it out. Uh, but this is my outfit today. You'll have to ignore all the boxes I've just opened in the background. Um, I am wearing my favourite baggy jeans. I'm wearing a little vest top with my white shirt kind of tucked in over the top. And my trench coat from Busby and Fox, which I just love. And then I'm also going to wear my sunglasses. These, are, these sunglasses just make me feel like I've got my life together. Um, and then my bag is downstairs. I've got an oolong tea in a can. I'm excited to try this. And G's got a green tea in a can. Final call with the client. Oh, that's really interesting. That is literally a tea. cracking it up right because um i just showed to G this tiktok account that i really enjoy i i just really love the the asmr pantry restocking videos on tiktok I, there's just something about them i just can't stop watching even though it's a complete waste of my time and how these girls restock like they've just got their lives and their shit together and I think maybe that's why I like it because I aspire to be one of those girls who restocks her dishwasher tablets every Sunday night but anyway I was just showing G them and um, taking my vitamins and she's just doing a little bit of uh, ASMR you know we're just sitting here doing ASMR for each other and it's really stupid Has anyone done ASMR marketing? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm sure of it. Uh. Not on TikTok. <laughs> um, do you want to Google it? Do your, t do your um, ASMR impression, babe. I'm shy. Oh, you, you never do it. You really... It, Jay is really funny in real life, and then as soon as I get the camera out, he gets all shy and he doesn't want to do it. These, these girls have like 10 million followers on TikTok. It is baffling. I love it though. I'm definitely one of those followers. There is. <laughs> what? No, there isn't. I just caught myself <laughs> looking in the viewfinder. Oh my god. This is the best hand soap. If I could buy buckets of this to refill, I would, but you go, you guys need to smell it. It's, it literally smells like cherry cola bottles. I don't know if you guys have heard of a website called Dish, I never know how to say it, Dish, spa, dish Patch. Like dispatch, but dish patch. I first heard about them in lockdown. I'm not actually sure if they were around before lockdown, but basically it's an amazing website where you can buy meal kits to cook at home from some of your favorite restaurants. So I think in the past, 
I think for G's birthday one year in lockdown, I ordered like, it was like a Korean chicken wings kind of menu from a website on Dish Patch. They've got everything from Otolenghi, which is, oh my God, the best restaurant if you haven't been there. The Good Egg, you can make their fresh falafel pitters, the Good Egg g and i love saint john so basically like really cool restaurants um you can order their food and then just like reheat it and make it at home it's like a meal kit delivery service basically and they have just launched a new meal kit on there from a restaurant called moro it's kind of like an autumn menu and moro is like a mediterranean cuisine and so i've very kindly been sent the their milk kit from Dish Patch. So today we are cooking this slow cooked lamb tagine. I just love this idea because it means you can get really delicious like restaurant quality dishes and have them at home. And it's delivery kind of nationwide as well. So anyway, you don't have to be in London to have it. So on the menu for me and G tonight, we have a roasted beetroot, red onion and pomegranate molasses. Labne with sun-dried tomato, coriander and fennel oil and flatbreads to start and then for the main we've got lamb tagine with carrots and potatoes oh my god I love a lamb tagine couscous and harissa and for dessert we have a chocolate and almond cake with greek yogurt so delicious these are based on recipes from Moreau's cookbook which oh my god is just the most beautiful cookbook I need to show you this page they've got like a, a toast section in a book which i've never seen before but i love the idea of look how good that looks pepper anchovy and chopped egg oh my god i love anything on toast chorizo chili and tomato sounds so good so yeah love this cookbook i think this would make such a nice christmas present spinach pine nuts and sultanas as a side dish sounds amazing so yeah i'm gonna cook this now it only takes 25 minutes i'll show you all my ingredients so everything looks like this it's all numbered so it makes it super easy. This and this is, is the dessert. So I'm going to put those back in the fridge until we want to have that. It's just got the instructions here. Very quick and easy. I cannot wait. amazing feast this took us like 20 minutes we've got labne with some chili oil beetroot pomegranate pistachio we've got a tagine spinach looks incredible mm. delicious mm. i just had another look at dish patch and they have my energies like one of our favorite restaurants on here they've got a menu from mr g's which is our favorite fried like place to get korean fried chicken in soho um and it's 45 pounds at 22.50 per head oh my god we're gonna have to order that at some point because the food is so good i like we talk about it all the time i i talk about it all the time on instagram so you've probably heard about mr g's but 